Good morning. It's Friday and the end of another week, almost. Today we'll be over at church taping for Sunday and we always enjoy doing that. It's always a fun thing. I have a, a helper here today that is wanting me to take him for breakfast, although we are not going for breakfast this morning, so he's not going to be a happy boy. But anyway, um, our Thursday devotional, or our, I'm sorry, our Friday devotional is um, there must be a new birth. And our Bible reading is from 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 22 to 23. Now that you have purified your souls by your obedience to the truth, you have been born anew, not of perishable, but of imperishable seed through the living and enduring word of God. You are not what you were before. You are new persons. That has not come about through works, but through new birth. For you cannot create the new self. It must grow or be born. As a joiner cannot make a tree, but it must itself grow out of the earth. The apostle here wants to say that since you are now new creatures, should you not now bear yourselves differently and lead a new life? As you used to live in hate, now must not, you must now walk in love, doing the opposite in all things. How then does that happen? Well, it happens in this way. God lets the word, the gospel, go forth and lets the seed fall into the hearts of men and women. Wherever that takes root in the heart, the Holy Spirit is at work making a new self who really does become another person with other thoughts and, with, and words and works. Thus, you are wholly transformed. All things from which you previously have fled, you now seek. And what you previously sought, you now flee. For in this way, you begin to be all on fire with godly love, and you become a different person, completely reborn. And everything that is you is changed. Now you are as eager to be chaste as you were before to be unchaste. And the same applies to all your desires and inclinations. Let's pray. Almighty God, your word is cast like seed into the ground. Now let the dew of heaven descend and righteous fruit abound. Amen. I think that when Martin Luther wrote this, he was fully aware of the fact that um, because we are human beings, that there that we uh, we often fail at this, and um, God knows that. <laughs> that we're not going to be able to do this each and every day, all of our lives. It's, it's in us to, uh, to be a sinful soul. And so when ever somebody asks me if I have been born again, I say, yes, each and every day I'm born again because I wake up and I ask for forgiveness for the day before. And if I um, did some of these things that I was sorry that I did, 
uh, I said something or thought something or or wrote something on Facebook, uh, I I need to ask for forgiveness every day. And um, so we are born anew when we receive that faith and we turn around and we become a new person and it's wonderful. It's a good feeling and I suggest that that everybody try it <laughs> because um, I know when I am following God's plan is when I'm doing the best and so I encourage everyone to follow God's plan, God's gift that you have received from him. Use that use those gifts. Come forward and and um either volunteer or just care for your neighbor. Well, I will see you again tomorrow. And um, I'm headed over to church to meet with uh, some friends over there. And we're going to get this worship service taped for you for Sunday. So have a wonderful day. I hope that uh, everybody is well and that uh, you have taken good care of yourself this week. Continue to do that. Know that you are missed and that you are loved.